Alright everybody, welcome back to the channel. Try and Francis Fine out here. We're gonna move right into the activity. I wanna walk you through how I made this Clematis clock. It's gonna be a two-part video. Please stay tuned, like, subscribe, comment, watch all of part one, watch all of part two. Let's get right into it. Now waste the time. Let's go. All right, guys, so I want to walk you through the process of how I created those large scale letters that you just saw me tracing on my ply board. If you wanted, you don't have to use this resource. If you wanted, you could actually draw your letters freehand. Feel free to challenge yourself. Um, but I want to share this resource because this can be used by anybody. Um, the resource can be used to, to, to print small image in a larger scale for example this w teachers can use this college students can use this high school students can use this for presentations or even for making posters so let me show you how it's done so this w on the screen it's an image that is saved on my desktop now if i want to print this large this is what i do i go in um this online resource called Rasta beta wall art generator now once i go into Rasta beta um i know the name is a little bit funny but nevertheless you know it's a cool site um and, and those are the examples of different posters you can print right if you want to create a poster or you want to take a small image and enlarge it you click on create poster and this opens up so you can drag an image and drop it here or if you wanted you could upload a file so i'm going to choose a file from my desktop and i'm going to upload it onto the site my computer is a bit slow so this takes a little bit of time i wish i had a faster computer all right so that's the w that i've already saved on my desktop so i'm going to open this up and the file is right here so i'm going to upload it to the site once it uploads, you'll see it on this side, this side, side over here. So what Rasta Beta does is a cool resource. Very, very interesting. So it gives you a bunch of options over here. You can play around with over here, um, how you want, what's the margins that you want, or if, what kind of paper you want to choose, how many, paper, how many sheets of paper you want going across, or if you want the sheets of paper to go so let's say you want four sheets of paper high so it gives you four sheets of paper high if you want four sheets of paper um wide it gives you four sheets of paper wide so the it gives you a bunch of options you would have to go in you know tamper with the site and find out what works best for you um, the cool one of the cool things about it is that this silhouette this figure right here this gives an example um, it compares to the figure of how large the actual image will be suppose I wanted my image to be smaller than that I would just go right here and I would change it um, let's put two so I want it to be two sheets of paper high so it's one two sheets of paper and it's gonna be two sheets of paper two and a quarter sheets of paper wide you know so you go in you can mess around with it and see what works best for you after you've chosen that you click continue and what happens is that it gives you the option of having a rasterbated image an image with no effects or black and white rasterbated so i like to have clean sharp edges so when i click on no effects this comes up it gives me nice nice clean sharp edges I can then go on and continue and then it gives me another option whether I want it to be black and white or whatever I choose black and white and then I continue when I continue it, it, it um, tells me that uh, you can click here to complete your six page poster so the six is gonna be six pages you can go as large as you want you can go as small as you want but what that does it Although it's asking you to pay or use Doge coins or Bitcoins or whatever, what it's actually doing right now, it's actually being downloaded to my system. 
So all I need to do is pull it up and it's gonna give me the options. Um, the sheets of paper are gonna be broken up and all I need to do is just print it directly from my computer. When I print it out, I put the pieces together. That's what I did for my large letters. I put the pieces together and then I cut out the shapes. So the option is ready down here. Let me click on it. Hopefully this comes up quickly. Man, my computer is slow. But when I click on that, the option, I think I have one right here. Let me choose this. All right, cool. So what happens here now is that it shows you how the image is going to be printed and how each page would look. After it's printed, you just put everything together and you have your large scale image. You can use that large scale image, you put it on the wall to create a poster. Or if you want it, you cut out the shape of the letter or you cut out the shape of whatever you're doing and then you use that. So that's how I get my large images. I'm gonna use this um, resource more and more as the future, as, as, as time goes on because I like it. All right, let's get back to the video.
throughout this entire video, I missed out one of my most crucial steps because I was just moving a lot. If anybody can identify in the comment section down below the step that I missed out, I'll give you a special shout out in the next video. Just look at the entire video, watch the entire video, and look at the step that I missed out. Alright? Cool.